then turning his back on reporters and just walking away without answering any of the shouted questions. And there are a lot of them. He did it again yesterday after he spoke about the supply chain crisis. Watch. Thank you very much. No comment. Fox News media analyst Howard Kurtz is the host of Media Buzz. I've been enjoying being on your program on Sunday. You guys Same talk here. about everything, and I'm sure this is going to be among the hot topics. Um, you know, what do you make, first of all, of President Biden? He's developed a bit of a habit of turning his back on reporters and just walking away at the end of prepared remarks. Do you think this illustrates he and his handlers don't maybe have the confidence to have him answer questions on his own? Julie, the bully pulpit has been muted under President Biden. He just doesn't want to tangle much with the press, period. I don't think you can blame it on his advisors. Now, I think he has some concern about wandering off script or showing annoyance with reporters, which he's done several times. He particularly hates that question. How confident are you that you can accomplish X? Now, all presidents sometimes refuse questions when they want to force the press to cover the speech or the remarks they just made. But the contrast with Donald Trump, who had a constant, codependent, and hostile relationship with the media, is pretty stark. What does this uh, do to Americans' confidence in the president, you think? You know, Biden's whole theory of the case that worked for him during the campaign was he wouldn't be in your face all the time. He wasn't the former guy. He didn't have to be at the center of news. But when things are going badly, you're down at the polls, you have the multiple crises, I don't think it works well for him. Look at the media landscape as a giant void. There has to be something every day to put at the top of the newscast, on the front pages, on the web. Uh, if the president doesn't fill that void, Others will, including his opponents, including the media, generate controversy. So he's kind of abandoned control of the news agenda. He could try to change the narrative, uh, but, you know, he doesn't make much news on social media. It takes weekends off, and I think he's given up an essential tool of the presidency. Mm. All right. I, I want to switch gears a bit about the mainstream media, something you talk about a lot on your show, uh, particularly network news, which is largely leaned on Democratic voices when it comes to covering Biden's massive spending bill uh, with a newsbusters.org report showing that after a study of 30 network news broadcasts between September 23rd and October 10th, there were 115 Dem sound bites as compared to 16 Republican sound bites. I don't think I need to ask the question, but I'm going to anyway. Why so lopsided? Well, you know, I could understand there being somewhat more Democrats because right now Democratic infighting is causing the paralysis on the Hill. That's the story. But to have so few Republicans, those figures are eye popping. It's like they're fringe characters to just be trotted out now and then. I think the problem goes deeper than that. You have these gargantuan, massive budget busting bills, three and a half trillion dollars for one of them. And I think the press kind of presents it as, well, this is really necessary because we've got all these problems and it contains all these good programs, not really focusing on how much money this is when you have a six billion trillion dollar federal budget or the major tax hikes that would be required. And so when you combine that with the imbalance of the voices, I think you do get a distorted picture. I mean, and when you look at his approval ratings, that's another one. I mean, is it that the cable, you know, I guess mainstream media, media and cable competitors to Fox News, um, they want to try to bury the, the, the facts because the facts are that people are dissatisfied with the president. Yeah, I think there's been a shift in recent days. I've seen a lot of mainstream reports, uh, Politico and elsewhere, talking about the undeniable fact that the president is down at least 10 points on average uh, since June uh, and, and trying to analyze. And the reason uh, we're seeing so much of this now in the media is that Democrats are worried. Democrats are concerned. Some Democrats are panicking about the future of this administration that is, is kind of forcing its way into right. the media reports that might have been playing it down, Julie. All right. Howie Kurtz, thank you. And we will watch you.